Alright, now we are in a uniformly accelerated motion. Okay, so for this part, we have four equations that we need to remember. Okay, v equal to u plus at, s equal to half u plus vt, s equal to ut plus half at square, and v square equal to u square plus 2as. Huh? So remember the formula correctly. Don't, don't go to make such a mistake like uh, you uh, second. Don't go to make a, such a mistake that like you memorize the formula wrongly. Like you put v squared equal to u squared plus a s. You forget about the two there. Ah, uh, so be careful. Yeah, be careful. Don't make such a mistakes. So um um okay, the acceleration over here, as you can see, uh, acceleration here. Yeah, you can see acceleration here. All this acceleration, they are constant. They must be constant acceleration. We only use constant acceleration example yeah, to do this question. Okay? Constant acceleration. And this acceleration here is actually average acceleration. Because if you rearrange a formula, if you rearrange a formula, uh, because this V minus U equal to AT, so to find the A is V minus U over T. Ah, so you can find average acceleration from this formula. Okay, uh, this is not instantaneous acceleration. This is average acceleration because you use a change of velocity, which is a final velocity minus initial velocity, divided by the total time taken. Okay, so this is the average acceleration. And the acceleration here must be uh, constant. Uh, how to use this formula? Normally, uh, the question will give you three known value and then find one unknown. For example, let's say the questions uh, give you uh, v equal to 10 uh, meter per second and then u is equal to 0 meter per second and then acceleration is, uh, let's say, uh, negative g. Uh, so, find the time taken. Uh, so, what you do? Uh, this is, uh, you use the formula what okay what uh, so so you want to find it give you three known value find the one unknown i uh, just use this formula then you can find the time taken okay so it always give you three knowns and one unknown so uh, uh to, to simplify we have uh acronyms for each of these this is called the first one is called what the second one is uh uh uh, uh, what is this? Uh, Tuvat. Okay. And then the third one is Sutat. Okay. Sutat. And then uh, this is Vuas. Uh, the first one is uh, Vuat. And this is Vuas. Okay. Uh, so, in the case that if the acceleration given is zero, if no acceleration, Ah, then this is what happened. When no acceleration, this uh, we substitute a equal to zero. Okay, then zero times time you get zero also. So that's why v equal to u. Ah, so the same thing like this one. If we substitute a equal to zero, okay. Ah, this one v square equal to u square. You also get v equal to u. Ah, that means v final velocity equal to initial velocity. So this is what it means when zero acceleration when when, when uh, zero acceleration uh, the velocity is uh, constant ah velocity constant what does it mean by velocity constant means the final velocity equal to initial velocity okay whereas for this formula if we substitute a equal to zero zero acceleration okay when no acceleration okay so s equal to ut uh, just left with s equal to ut, so uh, displacement equal to velocity times time. Uh, so that's all for this part. Yeah. Uh, another thing is uh, remember displacement, velocity, acceleration. All of them are vectors. So because they have vectors, uh, you must put positive and negative sign to uh, show the direction. Yeah. When you um, when you uh, substitute the uh, value into the equations. Uh, 
for example let's say the questions give you uh, velocity going upwards then you need to put velocity positive if the let's say the ball is thrown downward the ball is thrown downward you need to put velocity negative uh, okay and then for uh, object uh, uh, free fall object okay it is a free fall so acceleration is downward yeah um, the acceleration due to gravity because gravity is downward so acceleration also you must put negative uh, acceleration negative because uh, the gravity is uh, downward towards the center of circle okay so the uh, and also the displacement yeah talking about uh, displacement uh, let's say this is the origin let's say the yeah the object you uh, throw and then throw downward like that uh, so also have um, neg you see negative displacement uh, so um, the direction all the direction all this direction no matter it's velocity acceleration or displacement you need to have the positive and negative sign to show the direction okay that's all for this part